so amazing. It's like amaze balls. I can't. Oh my god. I'm gonna tell my mom in law about this sweater right now. Hi, my lovely friends. This is Karina. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going through this giant rack full of fall goodies. So we have knitwear, we have sweaters, jackets, pants, sweater vests. Everything that I'm talking about in this video will be linked in the description box down below along with my sizes and measurements. Oh, I also have a discount code for you guys. Karina15 for 15% off. Let's go. Okay guys, so this is the first look I put together. I'm so, so into this color palette right now. Like it just downright reminds me of like lattes. Not PSLs though. I like, don't like PSLs. Bubble teas, teddy bear, like all the warm, cozy, fuzzy feeling. So this is kind of like a mock neck top from the Shein Basics collection. I love getting stuff from their collection because it's just so basic. I think I got this in like three different colors. The material feels really, really silky. Not see-through at all. Wearing a black bra under. I really wanted to like these pants because these pants are like all the rage right now. So I think they're supposed to be dupes for the Aritzia Effortless Pants, which has been sold out. So these pants are from Dazzy and the model has to be like teeny tiny, you guys. It looked so damn long on her, which was the look I wanted to go for, you know, long and relaxed and like semi touching the floor. On me, it just looks like this. So I guess it's my height, like I'm 5'7 for reference, but so if you have my height or if you're slightly on the taller side, do not get these pants. They're just gonna look really, really weird on you. And then tying the whole look together, we have this little cardigan. I was afraid this cardigan was gonna be super scratchy, but it's really not. It's very, very warm and soft and stretchy. And I love how you can wear it off the shoulder like this. Or if you like it, wear it like on the shoulder, like one, like this. Or you can button it all the way up. Okay guys, next up we have these flared pants. I actually got these, I think a month or two ago for like summer and transitional weather. But I think it works really, really well for the fall as well. I love these flare pants because they are elastic all the way around here. And you can actually pull it pretty high up, which makes your proportions look amazing. And the flare happens right at the knee, which is what you want. Be very, very careful with flare pants that the flare happens below the knee or like slightly on top of the knee like that just looks really awkward and really weird in my opinion I actually wanted the fit to be a little bit more on the relaxed side this pair does fit pretty snug on me but in case you want it to be more like relaxed and like loose fitting or like slightly a little bit longer you can go like one or even two sizes up because I think the elastic is very very forgiving and then we have this other cardigan that I've seen a lot on Pinterest. I think they are like really, really popular last year. I'm not sure if they're making a comeback this year, but I just feel really, really happy getting this and wearing this with this color palette. And this is like a cable knit cardigan with like really, really soft and fluffy collars. Just to note that I'm wearing a size small, so it's not supposed to be like a skin tight fit like this. Cardigan will fit a little bit on the looser side. So then now going in with the brown flared pants because I'm obsessed with flared pants right now and they just feel amazing. Like they're so much more comfier than jeans. I would wear them all day lounging around at home and to go out because they're such a statement piece and keeping the top pretty simple which is a white basic top. This coat to go with our outfit. This coat is like an almond color. I think it ties in really really well in between the white and the brown. And I really like how the length of this complements the pants so the pants has a flare down by the knee and this one isn't too long covering the flare so in the size small and if you want I actually did a full-on review of Shein coats and jackets including this one right here so if you want to see more in detail review of these make sure you check out this link okay next we have this like I don't know what to call this it's just like a half sweater half shawl half cape kind of thing i think it's like half a sweater because it covers down to about here and just your shoulder area this part is really really baggy though but i gotta say it's extremely trendy and the material feels really really soft it's not scratchy at all like i'm wearing it on my bare arm and it's really really convenient to put on so i really like that but the bad thing about it is it makes my arm really really warm like my armpits are like sweating right now but the rest of your body is just gonna like Freeze. So yeah, I'm not sure about the practicality and the utility of this, but it for sure looks very badass. 
Okay, the next item, I wanted to show you guys this pair of tights that I got. So it looks kind of like opaque from the toe up to about this area here. And then on top is like this like cross pattern. So I thought it was really unique. Um, you guys all loved my tights outfit lookbook. I think that one was like two years ago or something. Let me know in the comments down below if you want me to do another tights outfit ideas lookbook skirt is the iconic jenny skirt which i got from shein last year i have to admit i'm not sure if they still carry it <gasps> guys it's in stock the skirt is in stock oh my god i can't believe it <gasps> Get it right now. This would be like my outfit to like bump into my ex accidentally on purpose, but you know, accidentally. And then in terms of footwear, I'm going with these heeled booties this time. I also got this from Shein. I think it resembles this sold out shoe dazzle booty that everyone is trying to find. And you guys are always asking me where this is from. I've stopped featuring this and wearing it in my OOTDs just because I don't want to be wearing it and you guys asking me where it's from and I'm like it's sold out so I managed to find a similar version on Shein this is the Shein one the Shudaz one has a buckle on the side and gold metal hardware at the front with the lace portion this one is just a silver portion you'll see that this one is a little bit taller so this one is harder to walk in Shein one is really really lightweight and easy to walk in not hard on the feet at all you can't call it the fall hell without having flannel or a plaid shirt of some kind. This one is just a really basic one. Like, I would have loved for the sleeves to be a little bit on the longer side. To me, it's kind of like a really, really awkward length. Oh my god, you guys, I just checked and this is a size small. I don't know why I got a size small for this. Usually, I would go at least for like a large or maybe even like an extra large. So it's supposed to fit oversized just like this. You can also tie it like this. Really basic, really simple, just your run-of-the-mill plaid shirt. Oh, it just got like ridiculously hot all of a sudden so my hair is up but i think it works really really well with this next look the striped sweater actually one of my favorites i wore it in this post right here and also if you guys remember i also wore it for my fall lookbook which by the way thank you so much for watching it is my first fashion re-debut after having a baby back to the sweater i think it is very very casual and the material used is so good like the material is like a lightweight knit material it's a little bit on the holier side so in case you're in a place where there's a lot of wind you might want to layer something under this it is kind of on the warm side although it's not too thick oh my god mvp is definitely the jeans true story i got these jeans about a month or two ago for my shein summer haul could not fit into it i don't know why i picked it extra small when i was eight months pregnant pregnancy brain and and now i can finally fit into it i love love everything about these pants you know the high-waistedness the shade the style the length of it it's so hard for me to find jeans that are actually high-waisted and fit the length of my leg all the way down to the floor the only bad thing i hate about these jeans is it makes my butt feel like they are in jail and i don't have a big butt if you have just a slightly rounder butt than me which 99% of the female population does then you're not gonna be very comfortable in these jeans so yeah i'm just gonna unbutton it because Oh, this is so much better. My butt can finally breathe. This blazer, I already featured in my Shein blazer jacket and coats haul, but I needed to re-feature it in this haul because OMG, I just love it this freaking much. You can just like throw it onto literally any outfit that you have and it's gonna just like take that outfit to the next level, you know, like Espa. It's actually lined on the inside. The length of it, the feel of it, the simplicity, the way it's cut, the way it's made, it's just, oh, it's just, Chef's kiss everywhere. Please, please do yourself a favor and grab this blazer right now. Size in the description box. Next up, we have two Argyle sweaters. They're both kind of this like earth tone, coffee colored, brown colored. And they're both pretty similar in terms of fit and overall structure of the sweater, as well as the material use. So I'll be talking about them together. This one right now is really, really comfortable. It fits really loose and relaxed like this. Love how the sleeves go up to my hand. But I was skeptical at first because the material felt a little bit on the scratcher side as I was hanging them up on the rack. But now that it's on me, I can tell you for a fact that it is not scratchy whatsoever again this, this would be perfect if you're just like lounging around at home or you want to like go for that like preppy look but not be like too overboard with the preppiness and then this one is from the dazzy collection this one has more of like an obvious argyle print to it and i got this in the side 
size large by the way Dazzy's sizing oh my god I think they're like US 4 is now a large so very very similar to the other one earlier on but I would say that this one is actually more heavy duty like the other one is more lightweight and this one is more for like colder weather let me know in the comments down below which one you guys like this one or the darker one you guys I am in total shock I'm not even exaggerating when I say that this sweater is hands down the comfiest, softest, most stretchy sweater I have ever come across in my life. Like across all brands all together. Please, please get this sweater. When I first put it on, I felt like I was putting on like a layer of, oh my god, like I can't even describe it. It's like soft sock slash robe on your skin like it just feels so luxurious the material use is not scratchy at all it's stretchy to the max like I have no words so this sweater belongs to the Shein basics collection which means I'm hoping that it comes in so many different colors because you best believe I'm gonna get it in all the colors available please do yourself a flavor flavor get this sweater right this instant oh my god it's very true to size i got the size small and it's better than zara it's better than like aritzia it's better than all the other really expensive stores combined the pants compared to the sweater is kind of a letdown a disappointment because i was expecting it again to be on the longer side but seeing that it's from dazzy and the model made it look like it was like hella long it's really not it comes down to about my ankle or even slightly above my ankle so i think it is perfect if you're petite just like the model but in case you are 5'6 or even 5'5 five five and above do not get these pants but get the sweater oh my god so amazing it's like amaze balls i can't oh my god i can't with this sweater i'm gonna like tell every one of my friends about the sweater i'm gonna tell my mom-in-law about the sweater right now hi guys so i couldn't get over this black sweater it's only 16 dollars and it comes in five different colors and all the sizes are available so please grab it right now did you buy it yet did you already click on it click on it right now i've been seeing dark green or like emerald green or like darker olive tones being so trendy for this fall i was never a big fan of the color green especially on my clothes but now i think i'm being persuaded and i'm really really digging the vibe let me know if you're like me or if you just hate green altogether this set is a really preppy vibe it's actually sold separately so for the top i got it in a size large again i don't know what i was going for i think i was going for like the oversized sweatshirt look but i don't think it works for me in this case because it's just way too wide let me know if you guys would make this like a smaller size or do you like this current fit but for the skirt i went with my usual size which is an extra small and i'm really digging how the skirt has a little like u letter down there it's like the skirt is like preppy enough and then you add some more like varsity elements to it and now it's like super duper preppy so up my alley i feel like you know like a 32 year old cheerleader and you guys this skirt is not too short either because i know a lot of shein pleated skirts can be like <laughs> hella short to the point where you cannot even wear it out realistically but this one is actually a really good length and the material used is not like your typical pleated skirt material either it's kind of like a sweater material which is hard to imagine for a skirt time for sweater vests i picked up these three sweater vests this time for fall because i figured they were still kind of trendy and they go really really well with the preppy look i'm always really impressed by shein's um sweater vest quality the sizes are really really true to size these two argyle ones right here i'm wearing the size US 4 which is a small and this is how it fits on me I really like to pair it with a white shirt underneath and then a pleated skirt of some kind because I'm going with a black pleated skirt this time I'm going with these little loafers I don't know if I'm flashing you guys I'm wearing shorts though I forgot if I ever talked about these loafers but in case I haven't you need to get these i'm starting to warm up to them because i'm seeing them a lot on this year's celebrities fashionistas on ig and pinterest i got this in size euro 39 which is a us 7.5 and they have this slight gold trim detail here and they have a slight platform to them not too high but just enough to give you a boost of height and it also has that like lug sole feature so it's very trendy and it's also really easy to walk because there's essentially no heel to it the only thing i would suggest you guys to do is to size up let me know in the comments down below which sweater vest here is your favorite 
Okay, before you guys say anything, I just want to show you this picture right here. This was taken about two or three years ago. It's a surprise she and actually still has this poncho available because I just got this poncho like last week and it still looks exactly the same as it does two years ago. I just wanted to recreate the same look as I did, but I don't know, maybe with like a different pair of shoes or something. This time I'm going with these Western boots because the Western boots are more trendy right now than over the knee boots. But you know what? If you still like over the knee boots, you can still go for them. These ones still got from Shein. It's not that hard to take off. I just have really, really, really fictitious socks. <laughs> Love the color. Very, very trendy right now. This is like a cream slightly beige color and super easy to walk in. It goes up right near the knee level. Very, very easy to pair with a lot of outfits. You can even wear jeans under this, like black or blue would look really, really good with this. Okay guys, remember that black sweater from Shein Basics that I told you to get for like you and your friend and your best friend and your dog? This mocha one or taupe one is from the same link, but for some reason, it's not as fluffy as the black one. I mean like the fit is still really really good and the way it feels on your skin is still really soft but it's just not as fluffy soft. But I would still recommend it to all of you guys because it is just such a good basic sweater especially for the fall and winter time where you want to be like layering it on as a base layer and then putting on like your turtleneck and your hoodies or whatever over this. This is a really good underneath layer. I wanted to get a white sweatpants from Shein because I wanted to see if they're see-through or not and verdict is they are slightly see-through under certain lighting conditions. Again, I don't think people will be like going like this up to your bum to see whether they're see-through or not. Just don't wear, you know, neon purple underwear. In most lightings, I think it'll be fine. If you're really afraid of your sweatpants being see-through, just go for the black version. So I think the sweatpants is the same style as the white one. It just comes in black so you don't have to worry about anything showing through and I just want to show you this hoodie this cropped hoodie oh my god I love it so so much I have to say that I got it as an extra extra large and I prefer it this way I just like it cropped and loose and I think the color also goes with a lot of outfits especially in the fall and winter time do you guys like more casual outfits or do you like more like dressier type looks let me know in the comments down below we have another gray cardigan. This one is a cardigan that can be buttoned up or down. I'm wearing it as a top and it's again, not scratchy. Gotta say, super, super impressed with Shein's sweater qualities this time around. None of the sw swaddles. <laughs> None of the sweaters were actually scratchy, so you can definitely wear them on bare skin. For the pants, this pants is something that I've been wanting to try for a while, and I've seen a lot of people rock this color. This is my first time getting this colored pants in terms of a jeans, but the only thing, again, for some reason, it's just the length for me. It doesn't cover enough of my shoe. I only suggest it to people who are maybe 5'4 and under. But yeah, everything else about this, like the craftsmanship, the design and the color and the high-waistedness, like the inseam here feels really comfortable. It's not flattening my butt in any way. It's not giving me a wedgie, so that's all good. This is a sweater from Dazzy. You can tell because it says Dazzy on here. It's also really, really preppy, really varsity. And I love how there's like a V around the neckline here and also around the ankles. No, what are these called? Wrist area. I think I got it in the largest size available, which is why it is so loose. If you don't like how this is kind of like bare around the neck area, you can always throw in a white shirt, like a collared shirt under. I think that'll look really, really preppy as well. And pairing it with my white pleat skirt and these off-white beige Boots. These boots are one of the very rare boots that I can find on Shein that actually adheres to my calf diameter and they just hit maybe like two or three inches underneath your knee. So again, it's very, very easy to walk in. They're not like creasing all around the knee area when you're trying to walk. The heel is also like two to three inches high. The entire thing is made of faux leather and it's so soft. It is a dream to walk in, like not hard at all. Another Dazzy sweater. This one looks like a multi-rainbow sweater. I don't know if it shows out on camera, but in real life it is quite saturated it's not like crazy rainbow or anything at first glance but it's like a really really good gradient of all the colors you can find in a rainbow and if you're one of those people that are like super sick of beiges and whites and grays and blacks 
for fall and winter. This one is the sweater for you because it's colorful but not too much. And I really, really like the fit too. The knit is, I gotta say, on the lighter side. It's definitely not like chunky or thick or like super, super hot to be in. Okay guys, that is it for my fall Shein try on haul. Let me know which item is your favorite. Leave me a comment down below what you want to see next and I'll see you in my next haul. Bye! I love you all! I will see you live!